Hey, good morning, Victor Vikings. Finally, a spirit assembly. How happy are we right now? We've missed you all. Happy Wednesday morning to you. And uh, let's begin our assembly as we always do by showing respect to our flag and our country. So if you could please stand up, take off any hats and hoods you may have. All right, look at the, at the flag. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And I know you all know what's happening next. Mr. Wright is gonna lead us in our Star Spangled Banner. Hello, I'm Mr. Wright, your Victor Elementary music teacher. Won't you join me as we sing the national anthem together? Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, all the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Marvelous mathematician and always giving his best effort. In Ms. Snyder's class, we have Nicholas. Good morning, Victor Vikings. It is time for our Victor values. Repeat after me. Victor Vikings are respectful. Victor Vikings are respectful. Victor Vikings are responsible. Victor Vikings are responsible. Victor Vikings are safe. Victor Vikings are safe. And Victor Vikings always give their best effort. Victor Vikings always give their best effort. All right, and now it is time to recognize our first graders. Starting with Ms. Diatalevi's class, we have Anya Christic for being a super reader and always being respectful and responsible. And then we have Armand Rupani for being Vasquez for being an incredible um, academic excellence. And Akahara Suresh Balaji for being an, um, having amazing skills, English language arts skills. From Ms. May's class, we have Maddie Kim for excellent citizenship and overall effort, as well as Gutham Katakam for being a radical reader. In Mrs. Yamasaki's class, we have Ethan Ayala for being an enthusiastic learner and golden effort in all areas. And Doris Fu for being a shining star role model and having polite participation. From Ms. Berry's class, we have Evan Espicarun for being a marvelous math mastery student and Sai Shankar for showing great effort and participation. From Ms. Hester's class, we have Luke Lee for consistent engagement and Sajal Budakar for being kind to her peers. And now we have a couple of students to recognize in our kindergarten class. In Ms. Harai's class, we have Ethan Velez for being a remarkable listener and always giving 100% effort as well as Jones Atkinson for being a remarkable listener and always giving his 100% effort. We also have some second graders we'd like to recognize from Ms. Childer's class, Hamez Zahir for being a respectful, responsible, and creative Victor Viking, and Ethan Rock for being a marvelous mathematician and a rip-roaring reader. From Mr. Lorraine's class, we have Rebecca Kong for being thorough and accurate in her work, as well as Devron Lee for her enthusiasm for learning. From Ms. Rosenthal's class, we have Owen for being an all-around awesome student and always showing great respect, responsibility, and effort, as well as Tara for being awesome, enthusiastic, and for her academic achievement. Way to go, Victor students. Most during the month recipients. Um, 
it was kind of a, mess, a little messed up since we haven't had a spirit assembly in so long. So if you are a either kindergarten, first, or second grade teacher and your student didn't get recognized this week, we'll definitely recognize them for student of the month next week along with our, all of our third graders. Okay, so if you any kindergarten, first, second grade students who missed it this time or teachers who missed it this time, we, you can definitely submit them next week. All right, so a couple of announcements. Um, first of all, uh, this Thursday night, a knee blast will be going out today again. One went out on Monday, but another one will be going out today again. There'll be, uh, we have our honorary service award recogni recognition ceremony on Thursday night virtually. It'll be done during our PTA association meeting that, uh, that starts at six o'clock. So if you would like to join that, any of your families wanna join that, to recognize our four recipients who have been recognized for going above and beyond, that would be wonderful. Also, we're gonna have some performances, some, some musical performances from some of our fifth grade students. So I'll be sending out that link to you again uh, today, later today, if you haven't received it already. So be on the lookout for that. Um, what else do we have happening? We do have our third, fourth, and fifth grade blended learning students coming back. They'll be back a week from tomorrow, which is March 4th. So we're super excited about that. And then, um, what Ice else? Cream night. Ice What's cream. that? Ice cream. Oh, yeah, handouts. That's today. Yes, I, I completely forgot. The how most, did you forget about ice cream? How did I forget about ice cream? Because <laughs> I'm not eating ice cream right now. That's why, you know. Um, also, you saw, and we'll do it again today. I mean, you'll make sure you get to see the e-blast. We do have our Handel's fundraiser uh, going on today from 11 o'clock a.m. to 10 o'clock p.m. So make sure you recognize, make sure you help support our uh, PTA by going and eating lots of ice cream from Handel's. The only thing is you gotta make sure you bring your voucher, okay? I may see you there. I live right up the street, but I'm not gonna tell you that, okay? I may see you there tomorrow, uh, tonight, Wednesday night. All right, cool. That's it for announcements. Mrs. Taylor, do you have any other announcements? I think that you covered it. Okay, great. Okay, and then one last announcement. Don't forget, messages of kindness. We'll, we'll, we'll announce that at every spirit assembly. Um, it'll be, the link is always e-blasted out to you. And you can also find the link to send a friend, a staff member, a teacher, a message of kindness. You can find the links also on our website. All right, so speaking of kindness, rec let's recognize those students who received the Victor vouchers for following um, our Victor values. We're gonna start off with kindergarten from Mrs. Tokunaga's class. We have Kair for being respectful and Kaven for having best effort. Mrs. Paulson's kindergartners of Luca Dezen and Sloan Reed for demonstrating all the Victor values. Mrs. Gaunt's kindergartners are Kwa and George for both being respectful. Mrs. Lee's class, we have Emma, Epperly, and Masuma Jaffrey for being great artists and giving their best effort in their artwork. Mrs. Christian students are Mason for being respectful and Anaga for being having best effort in mathematics. Miss Harai's kindergartners, Aisha and Shu for being very responsible. Moving along to first grade, we have Miss Snyder's, Mrs. Snyder's student, Paul Contreras and Akil for showing great responsibility and effort. Miss Mays's first graders, we have Surya for being a Victor Viking valedictorian for following all Victor values. Also Dylan for being a responsible Viking. Second grade, we have Miss Uetta's students. We have Alex for great responsibility and effort and Namish for showing great responsibility and effort as well. Miss Meyer's students, we have Adarashi uh, for, and also for giving the best effort and Aiden for always being respectful. Mrs. Childer's sec second graders, Neela for always using her best effort in reading and math. We also have Fiore for being respectful, responsible Victor Viking. Ms. Rosenthal, second graders, we have Johan for being a responsible Victor Viking and always giving his best effort. And we have Sadie for being respectful and always giving her best effort. Ms. Chu's students, we have Anya. Ms. Chu's third graders, we have Anya for having great participation and effort in class. We also have George for showing his best effort. 
Mrs. Sopko students, Ryan for being responsible and having great effort, as well as Skye for giving her best effort. Ms. Kawazoe, we have Anvi and Sri always giving their best effort. And Mrs. Page's fifth graders, we have Natalia and Joshua for giving their best effort as well. Great job, keep those Victor values going. Nice job, Victor Vikings. And it's time to announce all the classes who had 100% spirit, starting with Ms. Mays. <laughs> Ms. Mays again, way to go. Mr. Genuine. Way to go, Mr. J. Ms. Uetta. Ms. Uetta, way to go. Ms. Harai. Nice job, Ms. Harai's class. Mrs. Pop. Way to go, Mrs. Pop's class. Mrs. Pages. Mrs. Pages, fifth, fifth grade representing again. And way to go, Mrs. Snyder's class. All right, first graders in Ms. Snyder's class. Way to go. Way to go, you guys. Excellent job showing your school spirit. And that about does it for our spirit assembly for this week. Oh, we do have one last announcement because we just did mention the name. Do you know who one of our honorary service award recipients is? I mean, we have three special ones. We know who one of them is. Mr. Genuin, our fifth grade, our fabulous fifth grade teacher. He's receiving the honorary service award. So it's pretty good. Oh, and there he is way down there. We're talking about you. <laughs> okay, he says he has the best class, but all the teachers say that about their kids. Because Victor Vikings, we are the best. All right, everybody. See you later. Bye.